So if you've been working with Windows 8 for a few months, you might be getting some kind of errors on some of the older games. I've got them off and on. Uh, on one system, it works fine. Another on a Lenovo laptop, it works fine. But on one of my systems, Max Payne and Max Payne 1 and 2, both had DirectX errors. Uh, I've been working with NVIDIA. Customer support, which have been great guys and everything, working for a couple weeks now, going back and forth, doing some testing, installing drivers, some beta drivers, reading the forums. AMD has had some problems as well. But then they, uh, yesterday I decided, that, you know what, I'm going to go ahead. I'm a Microsoft partner. I can go ahead and uh, load up 8.1 runtime, or release the manufacturing, I'm, I mean. So uh, I decided to go ahead and do that. So this is the first run right after release. It. No other tweaks to the system. No compatibility mode, no nothing. So I'm going in here into my uh, Steam account, and there's Max Payne 2. So I'm going to go ahead, and uh, first we're going to run Max Payne 1. So I click on that and do nothing except just press play. And sure enough, what comes up, instead of that error message I was getting, I actually get the dialog box to launch the game. And I can select what, I, what the resolutions I want and all that. So I go in here, set it all up, take a look at it, say, yep, that's what I want to do, and I hit play. Oh yeah, you can go in here in options. You can set up the normal options you used to be able to do and all that stuff and everything. I'm not didn't test it to make sure it can still do all that stuff and everything, but I just left it anti-aliasing off from the from all the uh, the forums that I've read. But let's go ahead and click OK and see what happens. I cut into the all got rid of all the cutscenes and everything, but here I am inside the intro to Max Payne. Uh, sounds off because of uh, you know copyright issues and all that, but uh, had a little problem with cutscenes and the intros with sound, no sound. But in the game, there's perfectly good sound uh, voices and everything else. Uh, cutscenes like this in between may not have the, the the vocals and everything, so I'm skipping past them anyways, like I normally do. Uh, I'll have to check on it and tweak it and see what's going on there. But for the most part, I'm very very happy. Windows 8 just plain fixed Max Payne uh, one here. Working really great, runs very smoothly as you can see. We can look around, I'm gonna go slowly look at the fire here, look around a little bit and as you can see, Max Payne 1 is working just as it always has. Now this is a very old program, it's working great in Windows 8.1. So now we're gonna go back to Steam, we're gonna launch Max Payne 2 and there, same dialog box, be able to do all that stuff. Uh, it never came up before, always got a DirectX 9 error for that. So again, I cut past all the cutscenes and everything, and there, and here's Max Payne uh, 2 working. Uh, you can see uh, everything's just as if uh, we were in it. Well, we are in the game, uh, working perfectly well. Uh, all the sounds working great in Max Payne 2, by the way. Uh, everything's working. The the program is running perfectly. So as you can see, it uh, it runs great. So I I think Windows 8 has uh, put some patches in there. Uh, like I found in all my other video on Flight Simulator 2004, a couple of things were wrong with that. It fixed those as well. So if you're a gamer and you want uh, better game comp compatibility, don't be afraid to upgrade to Windows 8.1. It looks like it fixes some issues. Very happy with it. And I think uh, I might take some time here and play some good old Max Payne.